Hi guys, welcome back to another one of my YouTube videos. Basically in today's video, normally I have a few bits and pieces hanging on this ladder and obviously this is what the YouTube's normally about. Obviously those are the products I always talk about. These two products I've got is so, so delicate and so, so just like I want to look after them so much I didn't even want to hang this on the pair of ladders. So basically I've got the sexiest pair of boots I think I've ever seen ever worn, technically not worn yet because I've only tried them on and that's when I was wearing them on a really nice carpet um, but basically this pair of boots from from the first and I've got the coolest leather jacket which I've also featured across on my blog basically this is the same leather jacket I featured across on my blog it's probably around a month ago now and it's from a brand called Meneer Gazi Paris and basically I said this was the biker jacket to end all biker jackets it's the coolest biker jacket out there so Meneer himself has lent me this jacket to wear and hopefully get a couple of cool shots when I go across to America and if you're watching this video now I probably either am in America or I'm flying to tomorrow uh, flying to America so flying into Vegas obviously I want to give you a little bit of a um, bit of a background bit of an itinerary of obviously where we're going to go in America but I thought help a couple of cool brands and I think I've got the coolest two coolest brands ever right here to talk about on this YouTube and hopefully to get some epic photos and epic sort of content when I'm away. Definitely want to do a video, definitely want to do some really, really cool photographs, hopefully in the desert. So I don't think I could think of two cooler items to feature across when I'm there. So this is what this YouTube's about and this is what I want to talk about basically because I absolutely bloody love it. So here it is. Right, so I'll kick off and talk to you about the jacket first. Obviously, some of you may remember I featured this across on my blog. Um, basically, I featured this across on my blog probably about a month ago, but it was just the shoot and the clothes and just everything about the whole thing was absolutely epic. It's probably my favorite blog post of all time since I ever started blogging over a year ago. Um, so basically, um, Monier, the guy who actually designs these jackets, who lives in Paris, um, he came up to, well, he originally came up to London, um, but then he came up just to meet me and CJ as we modeled some of his leather goods here in Manchester. So it was an absolutely awesome day. Obviously, you probably remember me talking about it, but this was my favorite jacket from the shoot. And I didn't think I'd ever get to see this jacket again, so I'm super lucky for money for obviously um, to lend me this, obviously when I go away. Um, as I said, it's the biker jacket to end all biker jackets. It's the heaviest, thickest, coolest, most detailed and like awesomely finished biker jacket I have ever seen, ever come by, ever worn. Um, I felt that on the shoot and obviously just to get to see it again and how bloody good it is, is just absolutely amazing. So this is one of the pieces I'll be taking over to America. Um, I promised him an epic photo shoot so hopefully I will live up to that um, and hopefully a little bit of a film as well. But normally obviously the stuff I always show you, I normally hang on the ladders or like obviously having the background for me to show you. But this is such a quality piece, this is like I do not want anything to hurt this jacket at all. So even the wood on the ladders I'm like right it can sit on the bed. When it came today it was like double bagged, all zipped up, boxed up. Um, so it was it's just being delivered this morning uh, to work. So I've tried it on, it looks absolutely killer, but I just wanted to show you and run you through some of the details. So some of my favorite details of this leather is the buckles on the sleeve. The buckles are absolutely killer. It's such a heavy sort of buckle. It looks really, really cool. It's all silver um, metal and it's got some really, really cool chunky zips to it as well. It's obviously got the brand name and all the zips. It's got these big buttons. It's got the absolutely awesome sort of neckline to it. It is, as you can probably tell, the heaviest jacket in the world. I'm even sweating it, just sweating, just holding it up here. It's got an epic, um, obviously like old 80 sort of biker jacket belt to the bottom. It's got a nice little detail pocket, a little zip, two little zips on the side and obviously a little detail zip up here. Um, it's got the epaulettes on the shoulders. But it is, as I say, the coolest biker jacket I've ever worn, ever seen. I've obviously seen the likes of St. Laurent bikers and seen like some obviously the really big sort of massive brands who do these biker jackets even the couples i mean obviously i love the couples i've got a biker jacket from the couples myself but this as soon as i tried it on as soon as i even looked at it i was like it just beats them all it just it's just absolutely epic the attention to detail and the finish and just the weight and quality of the leather i'll have to put it down and stop talking about it because it's hurt my own but it's absolutely killer and awesome so you can go and check his website out i'll put all his links below follow his instagram as well if you like the black and white instagram thing like mine 
his is, is, is exactly the same. Um, so I think that's that's how we got talk and that's how we sort of like sparked up a little bit of friendship. We were like, we've basically got the same Instagram account. So that's the leather, that's the one I want to shoot in the desert. So the whole vibe I'm going for, um, this is probably going to sound like a little bit sort of like, oh yeah, you're going to go for that vibe, whatever. But I want to go for the Johnny Depp Sauvage vibe in the desert. So if I get any photos, any film like that, that's the whole picture in my mind. So it's like out of LA, into the desert, sort of uh, sort of all the mountains. I don't know when to shoot, I think like maybe dusk or very early in the morning. I mean, I have checked the weather, it's 41 degrees over there. So I think it'll probably have to be very early in the morning, very sort of obviously late on in the night because no one's wearing a black, thick, heavy leather jacket in 41 degrees, I'll tell you that. But I'm just thinking the whole desert vibe, the whole dusty, the whole sort of rocky, it's just gonna look awesome. Fingers crossed I get some cool stuff. I wanna share it with you as well. So obviously to see all this, you'll have a look at my Instagram, come along and just see what I get up to in America. Really, really excited to go over there. And obviously I wanna tell you a little bit more about where I'm going at the end of this YouTube. But getting on to these. Obviously I've got the jacket of my dreams. Just explained it, it's absolutely awesome, it's black, it's cool, it's, it's like the most rock and roll piece in the world. So you need some you need some footwear to match that, don't you? So this is another brand which I literally came across on Instagram. This brand is called I've got the box data shots, but I'll show you. It's called From the First. So it is possibly these are the best shoes I think I've ever owned, even the way they come. So they came like all wrapped up. There was a nice little black envelope, obviously with business cards in to say like thank you for your order. And they were wrapped in tissue and they were sort of like double bagged in their own individual sort of like boot cover, black boot cover with the drawstring. But when I opened them, just to see that boot, I was like, these are absolutely amazing. Obviously the first thing they do remind me of is the Wyatt boot by Saint Laurent. So I think obviously they've took a lot of inspiration from the Wyatt boot, but I've never actually seen a Saint Laurent boot. So obviously I've seen loads of images, I've never actually held one in my hand and obviously looked at the quality or anything like that. But as quality of boot score, I have never seen, felt or worn a better quality boot. So from the first, I've done an absolutely killer job. And they do them in leather, they do them in like a tan brown, they do the tassel boot. They've got some absolutely killer styles over there. But just the attention to detail, obviously the, I've got, I had a pair from, I think it was Topman. Obviously not even in the same ballpark as these boots. Um, but they had a nice little buckle on the side, but the buckle was just for sure. It only had it on one side, it had the two sides. But just the quality of detail, just the opening of the boot. So you un unbutton this, that falls apart, that falls down. You've got the zip, which is a lovely chunky silver YKK zip. It's got an absolutely awesome lining of the leather and just the attention to detail, just a little bit of the leather running up the sort of inside of the zip so you can't actually see the inside of the boot and then the inside of the boot has got from the first in gold on the bottom you won't be able to see it but it's there but even when you actually zip the boot up so you do it up nice chunky zip flip bear with me flip the buckle round um, press to it back down but even when you're going to put the boot on it has got a little pull at the back so you can actually get your boot on but this is just even then it just flips in it folds down inside of the boot so even just look at that I absolutely love that little detail so it's it's there but it's hidden um, but I got the suede version which is very very cool I think this is probably my favorite boot on the website but I absolutely do adore the black leather ones as well but you've got a full leather sole here they're all made in Italy it's got from the first written underneath so even like the Saint Laurent with the gold, it's just, these are the best quality boots I think I have owned or ever worn, as I say. But I just thought with the jacket, with the boots, hopefully I'll get a nice pair of black skinny jeans, which I think may be in the holiday clothes blog post tonight as well. Because obviously I've got like, I've gone for, I've been buying shirts, done the shirt thing. I need some black jeans. So this is why I thought this whole outfit will tie together. Hopefully it'll look really cool. So most killer boots ever lovely little silver details awesome silver metal awesome attention to detail lovely thick chunky ykk zip and just an absolutely awesome quality suede and they smell absolutely ridiculous as well so these boots possibly the best i have ever worn this biker jacket is the best biker jacket i have also ever worn so together i've got quite a combination going on so basically the plan is this is the bottom bit so if you've done if you only came over here to see the boots and the leather jacket 
it's fine, it's over, I've talked about them, that's it. If you come here to see what I want to, obviously what I want to do in the next couple of weeks, what I've been up to, all this, this is the this is that bit. So it might be the boring bit, it might be the bit you're interested in, I don't know. But the clothes and boots have been talked about. So basically, quick one, don't want to talk for ages, but uh, flying into Vegas, done Vegas before, I've done like, I've been so lucky these past few years to be across to America. Didn't think I'll actually make it to America this year, it's the only time I've missed Coachella, which obviously I was devastated about, but lucky enough, parents were going over, my sister Sally's going over, so I was lucky enough to join as well. So we're all going as like a sort of family, it'd be pretty cool, it'd be good, not being on a family holiday for a while, so I think it'll be pretty cool of all of us just like catching up again. So we're going to start in Vegas, do the Vegas thing for two nights. Me and Sally have booked somewhere in the Mojave Desert, which looks absolutely like the coolest place ever. Stayed in the Mojave Desert before in like a little shack, a little shed. That was absolutely killer. But we've got like a big, it's basically like an Instagrammer's paradise type of thing in the Mojave Desert, all booked and sorted. So that's really, really cool. Got a car doing the whole journey, sort of like flying into Vegas, and then I'm, I'm the designated driver for the trip. So really looking forward to that. I absolutely love driving in America. So that's a really, really cool thing I'm looking forward to. And then we're going from the Mojave Desert in Palm Springs. That is possibly my favorite place in the world. Uh, you probably know I love Palm Springs. I think I said way, way back on that 50 tip things about me or 50 things to know about me. I, that's my favorite place in the entire world. So Palm Springs for a few nights as well. Chill out in Palm Springs. And then we're gonna go to a couple of other places around there. There's some really cool places I wanna show everyone. Obviously Salvation Mountain, sort of even the roads around there are ridiculous and sort of salt and sea other little bits and pieces we're going to do and then we're going to finish off in LA. So I think these boots in LA, I mean these boots were made to be walking around LA and the jacket pretty much as well. Hopefully it'll be a little bit cooler in the city. So that's the epic road trip journey. Uh, hopefully it'll be good. So I won't be blogging for the next two weeks but you will probably know I will be blogging when I get back at pretty much about everything, where I've been, what I've been up to, the clothes I was wearing, all the styles. And obviously, if you can follow me on Instagram, that'll be really, really cool because you can keep up to date with hopefully some cool photographs of these jackets, boots, and a few other pieces. Hopefully, I will pick up because the holiday shopping ain't been done. It's not been done. It's Wednesday now. I've got two days left, sort of. So I've got a busy few days. Hopefully, pick up some cool styles and I'll be back on YouTube, hopefully filming some of this. Filming a little bit, I don't know if I'm going to do a vlog, not really decided yet, but hopefully something cool because I've been like getting all my film skill and literally I think some films now are going to look unreal. So hopefully I even do like little sort of little bits around the layer. I just I want to sort of explore the whole film and thing when I'm over there as well. So I want to do that. But yeah, pretty much it. Filled you in on two amazing killer things. Obviously, I'll drop these links in the description bar below. You can have a look at the boots, you can have a look at Money's jacket and a few other bits and bobs as well, Instagram, blog, whatever. Thanks guys for listening and I will see you in a bit.